Okay, we're back. This is Shattered Pixel Dungeon, a little walkthrough of the first dungeon stage for people who are new to the game. Uh, my name is Luke, and we are on dungeon level 5 of the sewers, first level, the first dungeon stage of Shattered Pixel Dungeon. This is where the mini, uh, where the end boss is, the, the end boss of the, um, sewers is the blob, he's like the goo blob. Writing goo, they just call him goo. Um, he's around here somewhere. And he's not... Yeah, he's not exactly hard, but he's not exactly easy. So, um, I need a good place to drag him around doors. I'm gonna walk back through here. I'm hungry, as you can see. So I'm taking damage every few turns. Search that. That gives me that door, so in case I need to like, go around there to reveal the doors. I'm obfuscated, so uh, it's harder for him to see me. I'm just searching around here to see what I can use to my advantage. Using terrain to your advantage is a big, a big key to being good at this game. Oh, there's another door. It's the exit to the dungeon, which I can't, I can't do yet. Oh, that's a seed. Okay, those are all those doors. Um, okay, so what's the best set of doors to go around? I think it's this one here. There's a lot of a lot of doors. I can I can maybe even go around this one here very quickly, but if there's only two of them. Eh, maybe I will. Oh, yep, and he saw me. Okay, so I'm gonna go through here. Wait for him. Hit him when he's not expecting it. Now, if I walk through water, um, that heals the goo. So he's, like, back up to full health again. So I gotta be careful not to walk through too much water, which is why this is probably a better thing to walk through. But the problem is that if he hits me, um, he, can, he can give me that toxic effect that the uh, bedded rat had. Oh, did you see him pumping himself up there? That's the, uh... Special attack. And it's, uh, it's a doozy. If I stand in the way of that, it can take a lot of health. I gotta be careful not to set that off. Oh, there it is. If I, if I walk away, if it can't see me for a second, it resets. Now it's mad, so it's even faster. Walking around. Oh, caustic goose. Okay, so what do I do? If I go back through here, it's going to heal a lot. Um, if I go around here, I'm going to take one damage per turn. That's one, two, three, four, four minimum damage I take. I'm at 35 of 55. I can probably spare it. One, two, four. Okay. Oh, back up. Takes a while. At least there's not that much water around here. 19 to 55. I might have to take some uh, healing. This gets much worse. This is gonna kill him. Got him. Okay, th these are uh, goo... Um... Blob of goo. A jiggly blob of goop. Um, you can use this for crafting things with alchemy. It makes a, a pretty powerful little bomb, but uh, I've never found it to be that advantageous. It sells for quite a bit, though. You can sell it to the shopkeeper on the next level. Uh, before I go to the next level, before I go to the next dungeon stage, the uh, the prison, I'm going to look around here. There's always, on this stage, I don't know how many food I can use. i got to be careful I don't use up. Ah, there it is! Okay, you always have to search the walls in the stage because one of them is this. This is the Rat King. Talk to the Rat King, he says, I'm not sleeping. Um, talk to him again, he's like, what is it? I, I have no time for this nonsense. My kingdom won't rule itself. So he's gonna go run around in a tizzy. Now, um, he's kind of annoying because uh, when he runs around, you know, if, if you are trying to get somewhere, he gets in your way, but he moves pretty fast, so it's not that bad. This is all good money here. This is the big, the big bucks. 
Yeah, okay, that's all that money. Um, now here's the thing. I'm about to go down to the next level of the dungeon. Um, and there's a shopkeeper there. That shopkeeper uh, will have a, another another bag for my inventory to, to clear things out of my inventory. Um, that can be uh, can be a magic holster that that holds throwing weapons and um, uh, wands, I believe. There, it can be the uh, the potion bandolier, which uh, which stores and protects your potions. It can be your scroll holder, which uh, stores and protects your scrolls. At this stage of the game. Like early on, I like to have the scroll holder because um, uh, it will protect your scrolls from being caught on fire. And there's a lot of fire in this game, and fire spreads, so uh, you get you get set on fire a lot. Um, and there's anytime you get set on fire, there's a chance you're going to lose one of your one of your scrolls. As long as it's not a the upgrade scrolls won't catch fire, but everything else, like I could lose this scroll if I got on fire. Um, you can also lose potions if you get frozen. But getting actually frozen is a lot more rare than getting set on fire. So, uh, I want the scroll holder. But, how do I get the shopkeeper to have the scroll holder? Well, a lot of people don't realize this, but you can get the scroll holder. You can get whatever holder you want by having uh, the most of the item that this holder is used for in your inventory. It'll give you whatever is most, uh, uh, gives you most inventory space back at that moment. So what I do is I drop all my potions. I'm gonna drop this, drop this. I'm gonna drop my throwing weapons, drop that. And there's nothing else that has a holder here. So just the only thing I have in my inventory now is scrolls. Now when I go down to talk to the Shopkeeper, boss man's got a scroll holder for me. Buy for 400, 400 euros there. That's uh, yeah. Now I've got a scroll holder. Good. Now my scrolls won't be on fire, and I have a little bit more inventory space. I am very hungry right now, so I'm gonna eat one of these food rations. They used to be called overpriced food rations. They're not as uh, like they're 100 gold, and they're not um that filling. But in a pinch. Um, what else is there here? Uh, there's usually a couple of heal potions. Always get the heal potions. You need them. Um, there's another one there. Grab you. What else is there down here? There's a scroll of my nuts. I don't know what that is. Oops, scroll of mirror image. I don't want, I don't really want that. Scroll of identify. That's good to know. Scroll of magic mapping. That's, well, that's gonna be good to have. I'm not gonna buy it now, because you need, like, they cost a lot of gold. They cost, like, 400 gold. Um, but they're good to have later game. Ocean of Invisibility is too, so uh, I'm probably gonna, at some point, playing through this game, I'm probably gonna come back up through all the shops and buy up all the necessary items and go back down when I have enough uh, food um, and the ability to move quickly. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that right now. What I am gonna do right now is I'm gonna go back up, grab all that stuff I dropped, go back down, and now I'm ready to dungeon crawl. Okay, so that's uh, that's a little walkthrough of the first the first stage, Shattered Pixel Dungeon version 1.0.3. Um, what I've done is to give you some pointers here for how the game is played in general. Uh, it gets a lot more advanced the further you go, but I, I think this is enough to go on to give you an idea of how the strategy of this game works. It is, again, not uh, a run and gun. You can take your time. That's key in this game is uh, is anytime things are getting a little hairy, you take a moment to think about what you're going to do next instead of just running through and trying to do it quickly. You can just wait and think about what your next move is. Um, and also, using the environment to your advantage has always done me well. Um, I'm, I'm not the greatest player of this game. Uh, I've probably been making a lot of mistakes of my own. But I've had a lot of hours of practice at it, uh, so I think I think that uh, the advice that I've given you is probably pretty standard by now in the community. Anyway, I um, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, thanks for watching.